What's up YouTube? So welcome to the third part of the free series animation and we'll be doing the polishing in this part. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so let's get right into it. Yeah. Okay, my friends. So now we're going to start polishing. So what we'll do is we'll go to the front. We'll go to the perspective view. Okay, but what we'll do, we'll select the hips rotation and we'll select the Y channel here in the channel box and what we'll do we'll just slightly when you're walking the leading leg will make this rotate towards it like that yeah so which means we'll have to move this contact which we can do that's not a problem but we can leave it here for now like just slightly like that yeah so look at that value we've got here so let's make it minus nine just to keep it simple now all we're doing we'll go to the end and we'll do the same thing in here go up the channel and put minus nine now we'll go in the middle and the opposite contact pose and we'll put nine now if you go into the editor because we key on every frame you're going to get this now if you play it, yeah, you're going to get, which is not bad, you know, that's not bad at all. That's actually not bad. But what you can do, if I just, uh, you can also delete these keys have it like this so it gives a more smoother transition yeah depending on what you want to do but that's basically the rotations for the hips so you've got that rotation there and then you might want to add when it so when it lands go back here you've got a nice movement there if you go into the bottom pose select the foot and you see okay you want to just select all of it all of these keys press shift and you can move it like this you see so you might want to have it a bit forward not too straight maybe slightly like that yeah so you can adjust so let's check check the other one let's see the contact for the other one that's not bad you know that's not bad so we can maybe that was fine actually we can leave that so if we play that now hey you've got a little walk going there now just the hip section little rotations happening so we look at the rotation here and then here yeah you see it's equal that's what we want and then now what you can do you can go into the toes now so you can be like now you can go one by one in the frame so say if we come here you could be like okay i want it i want it to come down straight away so what we do is we get this frame move it back so in one frame it hits bam yeah and then we can select the other foot and be like okay we want it to slip so you press shift left key mouse button and then middle click to the frame right next to that 13. okay so what you're doing oops the other frame there you're literally just moving the timing now because you had it all set to freeze and now you can come in and you polish and be like, all right, I want it to snap here. So you just bring this because it's already snapping there. You just shift left mouse button, go over it and press middle mouse button until you get to 14. It will snap in. Snap, then wait in. Yeah. So if we watch it now, there's a bit more of a slap going on. Yeah. And now what you can do is you can start playing with the toe. So you can get 
this control on this foot and go to toe. So if we go to the toe here, you could go up here in the control and be like, all right, I want the toe to be up, delayed one frame and now hit the floor. Then you come to the next frame and just press zero. And you can see in the graph editor, that's what's happening. It's going up, coming down, oops, sorry. And you can see that little delay there. And then you can select the other foot and be like, okay, where it goes down, I want the toe to be up and then zero on the next one. So let me go back now. Flop, 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 flop. See, you're getting a bit more of a flop now. So it's a bit more loosening up, isn't it? So if we go back, here you go, yeah. So, so you can start polishing like that. And if you and if you really want to, so I can just get rid of this graph editor. Now get rid of uh, nerves curves. You can have a look at your walk like this. Yeah, and then you can start really polishing. Then you can get the hips. Go to animation here in the drop down. That visualize tool we talked about, we can see, all right, how's this hips looking? Looks good to me. So then we'll be like, all right, how do these ones look? So you can, you know, if you if you don't want to keep going back here, you can just literally go to the top bar here and release it and float the window around. You can tear it off. So you can just have it here on the corner. So if we check that out, we can have a look and see how this curve is. Curve looks fine to me. You know, it's organic. It's working really well. Um, if you want, so you don't want to do that, <laughs> there you go. You can move this more here if you want, depending on the spacing, if you want that spacing. So if we look now, see it's easing in a bit more. And then that's, that's polishing folks. You just go back and forth. So I'll select this one now. If you start, start to get too many of those curves coming up, just literally go into your explorer so it's a windows outliner and you can choose your motion trails here and you can delete delete yeah and if you select the other foot we can create it there and we can do the same thing here like it comes up there so if it comes up here you may want to just move it out a bit maybe have it down a bit when we come here you might want to arc it up a bit you know, it's completely up to you, whatever type of uh, walk you're trying to do. But that's all you're doing. You're just going back and forth. And then what you can do, what else you can do is if you come to the front view, look at your knees, the knees should be okay. But yeah, they're pretty straight. If they were going to like, if they were going in and out, you can just use these controls. So you could be like, come here. could have these out so as he's coming oh the comp let's change this i think it's on constant that's why so let's change it to spline change this to spline so if we go back now see you can do that and maybe on impact it might just you might just shake it a bit bring it back Yeah, so there's so many, there's endless things you can do. I mean, these pole vectors are there just for the knees. They're just for controlling the knees. But um, I can get rid of those for now because, and then, uh, yeah, you just, you just basically, you can edit this now. So what you can do is now it's like kind of polished. If you look at, if you just look at the body now, you can see everything's moving nice, isn't it? Like it's all moving side to side, you know? Now the hips, the important things here is the hips are moving really well. So that means that everything up upper is gonna be spot on. Yeah, and now we will, we will talk about the upper body. So I will start talking about this, 
but we will do a pendulum exercise next and that will show I will show you like I showed the bouncing ball for the hips I will show you how the pendulum works for the upper body yeah so well done guys you got yourself a nice little walk there you follow it all the way through if, you, if I'm going too fast just go back pause do it at your own pace you know don't don't rush just take your time really follow it step by step you know Maya you know you don't have to worry about Maya it's not that complicated either you're just selecting and moving obviously you're moving in these axes here when you select them when you're doing the animations yeah so yeah for this video that's all for this video so you've got your you got your polished walk happening play around with it if you want to go further you can you can like go in the front view you can be like okay my foot's here I want to bring it up and say for example you want to maybe you can bring it passing or passing pose you can bring it out a bit maybe rotate it and then it kind of flips back in so you could have like a little arc going like that so on the top view the arc you could have the arc when you do this motion trail the arc could be like from here it comes out and it comes back in so there's countless ways you can change the walk and have a little personality in the walk you know so play around with it a bit play around with the arcs and see what you come up with yeah but that is the basics the basic mechanics of a walk you know you've got your contact position then you come down then you have the mid position and then you come slightly up the highest position and then contact again so it's those essentially those five poses and then you can start editing the timing and everything yeah and the emotion of the character which we'll get into but yeah that's a that's the basic mechanics of a walk so i'll see you in the next uh, video hey thank you everyone for watching that tutorial if you really liked it or you found something useful in it please like below and uh, share if you think somebody else would find it useful uh, liking will uh, and subscribing will increase my channel the algorithms in youtube it will help my little channel grow and uh, if you want to learn more of the absolute fundamentals of animation then you can click on the link below skillshare has a uh, 1000 the first 1000 students will get it for free for two weeks premium membership which means you can see all the other courses on there as well really nice platform to learn new skills and you can also go to udemy but skillshare you can get my course for free within two weeks and uh, I, I will be doing more animations in the future uh, videos coming up so if you click that bell button for notifications to get more videos and I will be doing uh, using different characters as well I'll be using in-game characters and I will be talking about the bouncing ball and how the bouncing ball relates to the hips the wrists the head the legs the ankles everything so hopefully uh, that will help you a lot with your animations so in the meantime happy animating and uh, please like